Hi vloggers, um, I'm back today and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of a makeup tutorial um, style of look. It's going to consist of a few things, just a simple face makeup with foundation and then no blush because I don't like to use blush so today I'll be showing you my everyday look. Um, let's see. Oh, it's going to be showing you some teal and brown on the eyes, along with a little bit of uh, gold or whitish gold underneath. Now, the teal isn't just a one shade thing. You put brown, and then you put teal, white, and a light, light blue on top to make it lighter teal. And then, no eyeliner. I don't like eyeliner. And then, a mascara. And then on the lips, I usually do a either a lipstick and a lip gloss, or I do a lip gloss only. Today, I will be showing you the whole lip gloss only look. So, I hope you enjoy it, and let's get started. So, first, I'm just going to put on a simple foundation, liquid foundation. Many people just use a powder or something. Usually, I use both, just because the powder will make it my skin dry and with the foundation underneath it my skin will be a little bit moister um the foundation i use is either maybelline fit me i use 115 it does have an spf of 18 unlike the others who have just an spf of 5 but i also used to use um neutrogena healthy skin enhancer it has an spf of 20 because i don't burn easily but it just looks better and then i it's just a great way to help you with your skin. But um, today I'll be using the Maybelline. So I'm not, I usually, most people use a makeup sponge. Um, I use my finger and the first thing I do so I don't get too much is just take the lid and usually there's foundation in it. If not, you can't do this. But if there is, you just take all the foundation onto the lid first and start. It's just to, because it won't give you too much and you actually won't get that much out of it so you, you can just deal with what you have and then you can get everything else so yeah, over here and then I actually have no more this time it wasn't that much but I just wanted to start because if I start with it then I know where it gets me and then I'm just going to take this some around me and use okay and then I'm gonna just lightly pour some into the palm of my hand you don't need a lot and then you just will wipe it off and then you just rub it in if you haven't checked out my blog be sure to do so as this will be on there along with all the list of products in case you forget the list of products, though, will also be, um, wait, I look whiter, because whenever I do a foundation, I don't use my actual skin tone, I know most people do. I use a skin tone either lighter or darker, depending on the look I'm going for. I should have gone. So, then, after I put the foundation on, usually I will put a powder on, but I don't use powder in this particular look, so I'm just going to dive right into the mascara, or eyeshadow. Um, let's see. Okay, so for this look, I'm going to be using a teal. Now, unfortunately, the eyeshadow that I'm using in this look comes in a palette. It's actually not a palette, just a palette, but a set. It's called the Color Institute, and I will be using a teal. This teal, um, the silver and the white, because I do not have a blue. And then for the browns, I use usually the this brown up here, and then I use a darker brown which is in also in a set by Esther Lauder. It is cinnamon. It's 35 cinnamon. cinnamon. Unfortunately, because my cinnamon is gone at the moment, I use an alternative, which is a purple and a pink mix. Now, with the teal, it probably won't look good, so I'm going to use a non-shiny brown, and it's just a simple brown, a dark brown. So we're going to put that on first. It is really dark. 
of my look. So after I do that, that was pretty simple. Just gonna make sure there's none around the edges. Okay. Next, I'm going to change brushes, but instead of going into a thick brush, I'm gonna go into a mm, a thin foundation -y brush. It's not a normal brush, and the reason for that is because it'll help. Oopsie. Sorry, my makeup thing broke on me and it does it quite often, so I need to take out my things. Okay, anyway, so we're going to use the foundation brush and we're going to use the teal. It's like a, it's not really a teal, it's more of a bluish, a, a pretty sky blue. You can see it really well on this. And you're just going to, you're just going to add it to the, to the, with your eyes open to the crusty area. First. Then we're going to take a little bit more and we're going to add it a little bit above that. Okay. This one is a little higher, but like I said, we will shape it, so don't worry about it. I'm going to take some silver. Only silver. You're going to find where you want it to go and just add it. Brush to shape it we need to use our finger so just either wet it under the water or lick it whatever you're gonna just take this and you're just gonna look and remove whatever you don't want normally it's just from the inside what makes it look bad not really the actual thing. This side is darker though, so before we do that, we just need to add some silver to lighten it up. And um, sometimes it's easier to use it, the silver, on a bigger brush if you have something like that. So you might want to get your bigger brush. Just take some silver. Okay. Now I took a little bit too much off, so I'm just going to dab a little bit. There we go. In the light, it's not as dark as it looks in the dark. So you, know, just so you know. So always check in the light. So Maybelline New York Modern Metallics. It's a set. It's um has a base lid crease crease and liner. Um, I don't use the liner. The crease I don't use. I use a purple instead when I use this, and then I use the lid on the lid and the base is the base. So it just it's always a good set to have. I highly recommend it. Maybelline is a good um, brand of makeup. So I recommend it. Um, I use ColorGirl Lash Exact Mascara. So I just put this. So I have an NYC 314B petal. It's a really metallic -y pink, which I will be using today. Uh, just put it on. It is, I always put on some NYC lip liquid lip shine it's um lip gloss pretty much but it's clear um i either put the clear one on or the glittery one on depending on my look i don't have i don't have any glittery at the moment so bear with me um that's why i'm using the clear one um now i also put on sometimes at times um with my lipstick Stelia lip gloss. It's um I have a few different colors. I usually put on the pink sparkles because if I want to put sparkly, but if not, I'll put on the cranberry 41. And this one is called Pink Pinkle Winkle Twinkle. Sorry, Pinkle Twinkle uh, Z2. Z2. Um again. Um, I also have the Starfruit 30. It's um, it's more of a nude color. I like it a lot. Um, Cranberry actually puts on some color, so if you don't want to change the color of your lipstick, use the nude. It'll definitely look a lot better. Back and check out my vlogs. I will be vlogging a lot more. <laughs> and comment below this video or my last vlog any questions you have for me as I will be doing a question and answer tutorial question and answer vlog next week sometime um and anything you want to see in this video either post on my channel or comment below this video okay hope you guys had a great time and learned a lot thanks